So we begin with an update on the largest flood in Alberta's history. The flood that devastated Calgary now has its sights on Medicine Hat and Drum Heller. Rising waters have already forced the closure of most of the city's key transit uh, arteries. However, emergency crews are hoping to keep the Trans-Canada Highway bridge open. These surging floodwaters have devastated several south, uh, southern Alberta communities and Medicine Hat officials aren't tanking any chances. Alberta Health Services is now setting up a field hospital which will stay open 24 hours a day. All schools will be closed today. Most workers are being advised to stay home. So as people in Alberta Southeast wait for the worst, Calgary, Calgarians are hoping that the worst is actually over. Tens of thousands of people in the flood-ravaged city now returning to their damaged homes as they begin rebuilding what was lost. Mike Blanchard is in Calgary. And, and Mike, good morning. Hard to get to work this morning. No, actually, for me, I'm one of the fortunate ones, Pat, because uh, the area of town that I live in is uh, high and dry. Actually, about 90% of Calgarians were really spared, uh, uh, you know, I guess any uh, immediate impact of the flood. Sure, there's a lot of uh, other, uh, I guess, impact going on just with a lot of transportation uh, that's shut down and uh, certainly the loss of productivity that uh, where the city is experiencing and will continue to experience for some time. But uh, a lot of people were told yesterday afternoon, too, that they could return home. 65,000 people were given the green light to go back in. Doesn't mean they'll all be able to get back into their homes because some of them are going to suffer some significant flood damage. Uh, a lot of flooded basements, for example, but there are still many areas, about 10,000 residents, that can't get back into their homes. And those are ones that are really right on the, uh, the floodplain itself, right near a lot of these rivers, the Elbow River in Calgary, the Bow River in Calgary. Uh, and uh, you look at some of the levels of the water, they've come down significantly from Friday uh, when we were talking about this as well. So that's a good sign. It's a sign that things are starting to at least uh, return, but it's going to be a long time before this city gets back to normal, I can tell you. Well, we look at where to go next it, it's happening a little bit faster than some people initially thought and calgary's mayor nahid nenshi did address that in fact here's what he has to say we think that about 90 percent of the occupancy of downtown if we're lucky if we're lucky it all depends on the results of those building assessments that are going on now if the building assessments are good people can start moving back into their homes for residential occupancy monday night uh, and we will be ready for the work day on Tuesday. But that is the best possible scenario. A midweek, uh, midweek date, people should probably still keep in their minds. Now, Pat, well, we know now that this is certainly the worst flood in Alberta's history. Certainly in the terms of cost and lost productivity, it's still far too early to determine what the cost will be. That likely will be tallied in the coming uh, days, weeks, and maybe it might even take months to uh, get a real grip and uh, assessment just what the total damage bill might be. And I know we've talked a lot about this over the past few days, but this all came up pretty fast on Thursday. Caught a lot of people by surprise uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, no, the amount of rainfall that we got was far more than most people predict, predicted. I don't know that even if the forecast had been bang on, if anything would have changed. It's like, okay, we know there's 300 millimeters of rain coming, but uh, what could they have done about it? I don't know that anything could have been uh, done much differently. So, you know, we'll wait to see what happens there. Provincial government is starting to coordinate some uh, reconstruction teams that are being put together. It will uh, portion the province up into uh, various sections and uh, deal with it uh, that way. Much of the damage that homeowners, individual businesses and uh, residents suffered may not be covered by insurance. Uh, flood damage is uh, kind of a tricky thing. Uh, you really have to read the fine print in your insurance policy. A lot of this stuff isn't cover covered. The Premier, Alison Redford, says uh, the province will do what it can to help. There is a uh, water uh, or there is a disaster recovery fund in place that will help. But I can tell you based on previous experience, for example, in 2005, this disaster recovery fund uh, was, was required, uh, dipped into. A lot of people were very critical about uh, the payments. Uh, they were quite late uh, coming out. A lot of other things to tell you about later on during the day, Pat. I uh, know we've got some updates on uh, some uh, significant things that are happening here in Calgary, so we'll keep you up to speed with what's going on. Okay, thanks a lot, Mike. Anytime.